Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. And don't forget about me, Alexa. Hey, no worries. Hey, you guys saw in one of my past videos, you know what, I got a new assistant. That's my assistant right there, that's Alexa. She goes everywhere with me. Listen, we cooking together. She reminded me what I need to do. And with that being said, this video here, we making sweet potato pie. Make the one with the marshmallows. You heard it. Listen, that's gonna be the, you know, like my main topping. You know what, after we make the sweet potato pie, we get everything ready to put it in the oven. Listen, we gonna put a marshmallow top on there. And listen, that that's, you know, totally optional. It's up to you. But you know what, that's Alexa's favorite. That's my favorite. And I'm gonna show you guys just how to make it. And I know it's been a while, because look, you can look right here. I put out a poll and you guys said that you wanted to see the uh, sweet potato pie, you know, my version, super simple. And for those of you guys that ain't never made it, uh, it's simple no matter how you do it. Uh, what I'm gonna tell you is, by looking at that right there, in the order how it was voted, that's how we are gonna make these desserts. So, with that being said, you guys, we are finna get right into this video, boom. Okay, first things first, put your yams, sweet potatoes, whatever you wanna call them, put them in a pot and go ahead and get it to boiling and then you want to boil them for 50 minutes now let's just go over the ingredients super easy and not a lot of ingredients you see we got sugar which was white sugar you got eggs two eggs you got vanilla and then you got uh listen that's evaporated milk and you know what i'm gonna show that brand carnation because that's probably like what everybody uses across the country look we got cinnamon nutmeg you can see we got measuring uh spoons right there we got butter it's not melted but we gonna melt it and then you know we got marshmallows and then of course you know then i'm getting ready to show you know i'm using a mixer i'm using my uh kitchen egg mixer listen but you don't have to use that you can use a hand blender and then we can do it old school like big mama or granny used to do and she went ahead and used a wooden spoon and a fork now after everything has uh, been boiled and it's nice and soft and then you can check it also by just sticking a toothpick through it or a fork just to make sure that it goes through the center and that it, you know it doesn't have any hard spots and if it's done properly after you let it cool that's the key you gotta let it cool you should be able to peel them just the way you see what i'm doing right there listen they should just be able to just split with your fingers and then just peel them off you know peel off the skin after that just cut it take any discoloration off put them in your mixer and now it's time to mix all right now this part right here you know super explanatory super simple just go ahead put it in your uh get it set up and again i'm using a mixer if you guys are using a, a blender, just go ahead and use that hand blender. Just go ahead and work it. Now I'm using that attachment right there when I first start just to break it down. And then you'll see I'll go ahead and change the blade and go to something that's more a little bit more traditional as far, especially if you're using a, a, a hand blender. Now go ahead, crack your eggs. We're going to put our eggs in. And listen, you know what? The way I did it this way. I just want to be honest with you. I guess this is more so for me doing the video. You can put all these ingredients in right now, but this right here just made it look blue, Ooh, you know? So anyway, just putting in my ingredients. You know what? Now would be a good time for me to say, don't forget, if you guys been watching my channel, you know, I always put the full recipe down in the description box below. So after I have all of that in there, just go ahead, turn it on. You know, I always start off slow. You don't want to get no splash. You know what I mean? Then we just work it through. And then when we come up with that uh, consistency that you see right there and you know we don't want to just like you know like just totally over mix it because we add in the rest of our ingredients you just saw i put in brown sugar eight ounces of that evaporated milk you know and then look there it is right there it's already melted we put that butter in there then we go ahead and put that in there and now we're going to start working on it to get it nice and creamy and you know what it makes me think about my granny working this the hard way you know working that elbow and that hand I'm so glad we got some cool appliances now. Anyway, got that ready. And now for the good part. Listen, if you guys got any kids, nephews, nieces, or you know what, just a, looking for something to make with your spouse, side piece or whatever, you know what, this is it right here. Now, go ahead and get your uh, crust. And the, you know what, if you guys watch my uh, peach cobbler uh, video, that's the same crust right there. You know, it's, the, it's in the refrigerator section. Just go ahead and line your pie your pie pan and me i'm using that glass pie pyrex you know just and then look the edge already had that design so i just went ahead and just worked it in you know what i mean just like copied the design so it looked nice and then here's the fun part right here and listen your kitchen should be smelling amazing right now and then go ahead just put it in there super simple don't need to really over talk this right here look that's self-explanatory you just want to make sure it's smooth goes to the edges and 
if you're not going to do a marshmallow top once you're done you know smoothing this out you can put it in the oven you know for one hour at 350 degrees but for me and you heard alexa earlier saying this is her favorite you know what we're gonna go ahead and put these uh, marshmallows on the top and we're gonna brown those and again we're gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees for one hour i would suggest if you're using a uh you're putting a marshmallow top on there i would probably just take a look at it about every you know 20 minutes just to make sure it depends on your oven you don't want to brown them too tough and then right here we got to do the plate what i should have done was let it sit and rest a little longer you know what i mean you let it rest for about an hour and then put it in the refrigerator it's best if you leave it overnight but that right there that's a nice slice of that sweet potato pie so tell me what you guys think about that there you know what i mean listen this is my version of sweet potato pie, you know what I mean? And then I went ahead and put that marshmallow top on there, you know, and browned it also in the oven. Now listen, you do not have to put that marshmallow top if that's not what you want. You can go ahead and just make it. It could be more like a, a traditional sweet potato pie. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. You know, you, you know, you got the chance to see. I know everybody been waiting to see just how I made and how I can simplify just making a sweet potato pie. And with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, go ahead, don't forget to subscribe, like, share. You know what, and look out, we gonna bake, we gonna do everything on this channel. We gonna take the mystery out of everything. You know what, and we just gonna keep it simple. And with that being said, you guys, I'm out. Peace.